Tractor Supply, uh, friend John Johnson pointed out maybe something that would be here, and uh, I didn't see the caps that he talked about, but uh, I found a couple things, and I think I'm going to come back tomorrow, and I'm going to pick them up, and uh, some things that are some good prices here, so uh, I'm interested in these Ertl, Ertl toys here. You know, so these are good heavy-duty toys, $16, sell them for about 25 so there's a bunch of stuff here that I could probably ship in. And I've, I've scanned a couple things, and, and I'm not restricted on Amazon. So I'm thinking we're going to come here tomorrow and uh, buy a bunch of these things to send in. So <clears throat> I want to show you, even here's the... These weren't bad either. I got $8.29. These sell for about 20 bucks on Amazon. And um, I would make about 4 or $5 on that. So... Not bad. They don't have a big clearance section here, but they have enough items that I could probably find some things. Dollar seventy nine, six ninety nine, ten ninety nine for these sockets. Here's a couple. Five twenty. Oh, that's five twenty. That sells for usually fifteen. Now that's missing. Missing a tool there. Seven forty-nine. Probably some. I can another thing I can sell. It's these for thirty-four ninety-nine. They go for like sixty bucks on uh, Amazon. So I'm going to be actually coming back tomorrow uh, when I get some money and picking up a bunch of these clearance items. So there's some actually some pretty good deals. Game feeder, twenty bucks. That goes for usually forty. Might not be able to list that. Might have a battery issue there. So, but I'll, I'll check into it. So, but um, yeah, there's some. Again, if you can find that stuff with fifty, seventy-five percent off that you can sell. I came here looking for the caps, and now there's something. Those, there's just things that are just too big that it, the FBA fees would eat it up. But, um, there's a bunch of stuff here I think I could make some money on. So, I'm going to come back tomorrow and, uh, actually get a bunch of this stuff. So, okay, I have Pat D72 here. If you could like and subscribe to our channel, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to scan the store for other things. Signs. Tractor Supply is a unique country store. You know, people that want to do the chicks and stuff like that. So, but Ertl, you know, I thought Ertl went out of business, but someone must have bought the brand and they're doing all the different things. Got a lot of cheap uh, ten dollar items now. I don't know how much that goes. Bicycle oh, yeah. Stanley Tools, those are good name brand stuff. Ten ninety nine. We got some pretty good deals here. That's pretty eight ninety nine. That's pretty good because sometimes you buy batteries and um, you pay four or five bucks a piece for them. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, a lot of things. Thunder caps. Boom in a bottle. As loud as a shotgun. All you need is a bottle and a pump. Out of color coil. Oh wow, never even heard of those. Look at that. Huh.
So they got some bunch of good stuff. I'm, like I said, I'm going to stop back tomorrow and pick up some of these clearance items. So, but this is the local tractor supply in my hometown, actually. All right, well, I'm going to continue this video back tomorrow when I pick up a, a bunch of those clearance so items. I've a different tractor supply to check out their uh, clearance items. And, uh, boy, it's sloppy, but they do got stuff on clearance. So let me, I'm going to kind of check things out, what they got. Let's see. That's, that's missing stuff up there. kind of they close in 20 minutes so I don't have a whole lot of time to kind of view things 22.99 windshield holy crap 22.99 now first is marked 9.99 huh 8.99 749. That doesn't look too bad. Counter. Okay, I'm gonna actually hang up here because I want to ch just check some prices on my Amazon. It's a Pat D72. I'm getting ready to uh, go out actually to uh, leaving here from the Poconos of Pennsylvania to go to, to New Jersey, uh, Bridgewater, New Jersey to see my son in uh, his robotics competition. So uh, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of I'll probably do two or three live videos today, and then uh, we'll do the, you know, where we make the, the footage that we tape, and then we'll I'll share with you. So this will be up there, and um, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, it's uh, Pat D72. As you can see here, I'm in a different shirt. Um, this was over two days to, uh, you know, this weekend I had went to my son's robotics, and uh, I recorded probably about two hours worth of footage there when I did three lives and um, I also did a you know other footage that I had to put together to uh, you know make the winning unfortunately at the robotics the background music I have to go over because one of the songs that were played would have banned that video worldwide and so no one would have been able to watch it so there's still one song in there meaning I can't monetize that video but I don't have enough subscribers yet to monetize it anyways so it's no big deal so I appreciate everyone watching the videos actually um, it was kind of actually very exciting my son Joshua and his team were on the news today locally here at WNEP and um, they did a story on it because they took first place and there was 35 teams that participated so now they're going to go to another um, you know, competition. I'm getting some messages. Let me see who's messaging me. Let's... Kim. Kim. Kim is messaging me. Let me see what Kim is saying. Doesn't matter. I mean, even if we were live here. Let's see what Kim, uh, borderline hoarder, she's saying. And, uh, no, Tommy. Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, they're just looking for some thumbtacks. So, I, and I want to show you this raw footage because you know this is part of what we're doing here it's um, quarter after eight I have my son Joshua helping me because you know I use my uh, cell phone I, I do have a regular digital camera that I can hook on a tripod and I'm probably gonna do that but uh, you know it, we started the day at eight o'clock in the morning and here we still are quarter after eight at night and we're uh, doing uh, footage but I just wanted to show you this video was about tractor supply uh, Nevermore Antiques channel, John, had mentioned about the caps. So I thought, hey, why not go out and check out what they have, if they have those caps. You know, hey, always looking to make a buck. Um, I do know a manager that works at locally at a tractor supply, and I asked her where some of the clearance items were, and she explained to me the days and the procedures of how clearance works. And she says there's even someone that comes in there at times, if it's the right price, they will, that person will buy it out. And I said, well, I'll do that too if it's the right price. But I wanted to show you some of the stuff I got. I spent a little over $300. Some stuff I got, roughly the average savings I got was about 60, 65% off. I bought a bunch of the Irwin um, tools. 
brand new in their cases. Now this is not everything because I already, uh, to get stuff, when I get Amazon stuff, I don't always like to hold on to it. So I had some uh, trailer uh, hitches that I sent out. I got these uh, charade knives. I didn't even peel off the sticker yet on these. Um, I got uh, screwdrivers. Now I spent, uh, like as the thumbnail says, one hour. And I spent 300 And I, I should be able to sell this stuff for over $600. The best deal I got was on the trailer hitches. They were a great, great buy. Um, these items, which are high quality, Ertl, heavy die cast metal. Um, I got these and um, even if I have to sit on these till Christmas. Now it's, what's weird is about, now obviously we know we could sell these on eBay, no problem. I could sell this one on Amazon because when it comes up in the description it says John Deere. Um, but Tommy, T-O-M-Y, I guess is the manufacturer of the company that is, you know, creating this product to sell at Tractor Supply. Now this was the other uh, John Deere product. Now when I typed this into uh, Amazon, I couldn't sell it. Uh, because it didn't come up John Deere, it actually came up T-O-M-Y, and it, it said I have to request approval. So it was kind of weird. And they're both made by the same company, because I could show you here real close. It says T-O-M-Y. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. I got to thank Joshua because I I took some time. He's doing some of his computer work, and I took some time from him, and I asked him to help me, you know, do this. You know, when, when you're doing YouTube to keep people interested in your channel, you want to basically be producing uh, five videos on average a week. Now, keep in mind, there are other channels that I am on, um, other people host it, and I come on, that are hangout and stuff, so... I, I am on five or six times a week, but sometimes I'm on other people's channels that doesn't represent on my channel. Now, the nice thing about that is they have a larger audience, and they help me build up my channel by being on their show and mentioning, hey, check out Pat's channel, you know, Pat D72's channel. Um, I had actually that last week with uh, Taco Stacks and being on the Bearded Picker. Oh, actually, the Bearded Picker came on my show, and the combination of those t uh, two mentions last week, I... Uh, probably gained just last week roughly about 125 subscribers. So greatly appreciate it. I was at 20 subscribers in um, January, and I'm right now I'm about 438. So we we keep growing, and um, we're gonna keep making videos. And uh, this Sunday, actually, on Borderline Hoarderish, Kimberly's channel is we ha are starting a show with Kimberly, uh, Destiny, and Tommy. Tommy's the bargain effect. And uh, Destiny has the Shamrock Pixie channel. Uh, great group. Uh, we're all spread out across the country with different experience. And we're going to be doing a one-hour average 60 to 70 minute show uh, talking about different subjects, to, uh, having guests on in the future. And we, pl we plan to do this all the time. Plus, we'll do some of our own little stuff. But if you guys get a chance, watch the show this Sunday, 7 o'clock East Coast time. And uh, you hear that dinging in the background. That's actually them messing us, just, just trying to set things up. So, hey, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day. It's all that you appreciate it. Um, you know, one of the biggest questions I get is how do we source things or where do we find things? And this is what I'm showing you. There's lots of places to source things. You just got to use your head on what and have a budget. I could have went in there in all honesty between the two stores, the tractor supplies I went to, I probably dropped about $1,500. But what I, you know, that has to do with cash flow. And I'll talk about that in the future of how much to buy and what to buy. I pref would prefer sometimes to buy eight different items than maybe sink all my money into one item that might be a mediocre seller. I, I feel I have a better risk um, by having a multiple different th items. So thanks again, Pat D72, and thanks to my son Joshua. He did a great job at robotics this weekend, and he's here helping me now record. He actually comes out on the road, and he, I'm teaching him about clearance. He knows he knows how to ship items. He's at, you know doing a lot of things that I greatly appreciate it. You don't see him much on the screen. He does a lot of you know the thumbnails and stuff like that. But um, you know he's 18, and uh, he's learning. He's he's been with me in business when we did the restaurant, so he's learning a lot also about uh, you know what we're doing as far as reselling uh, between eBay and Amazon. So. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.